Hi, I'm Stacy Coltar. I am an oncology social worker and I work for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society as an information specialist in our Information Resource Center. I'm happy to answer the question, why is self-advocacy so important for someone diagnosed with AML? The very short answer to that question is because you're an important part of your healthcare team and advocating for yourself helps you receive the best care for you to improve your overall quality of life. Now, a little more detailed answer. Self-advocating means you're taking an active role in your healthcare. The more your doctors know about you and the more you know about your diagnosis and treatment, the better overall care you will receive. Many people think, I can't advocate for myself, they're the doctors, and I don't want to ask too many questions. It is true that the doctors are blood cancer specialists, but you are an expert on you. Only you know what symptoms and side effects you're having. Your team cannot help you with those if you don't tell them. Only you fully know your past medical history and issues you feel are important for them to know. Only you know what you are willing to go through depending on the goals of treatment. What are your personal goals and plans, and how do they play into your treatment decisions? Your healthcare team needs to know that. See, you have a lot of information to add to your treatment team as decisions are being made. To best advocate for yourself, try to educate yourself about AML from reputable sources. This allows you to understand more of what your healthcare team is talking about and have good discussions on what you need to do and why to get the best care and have the best quality of life possible. Don't be afraid to let your healthcare team know if you don't understand something that they are talking about. Your healthcare team tells you things because they want you to understand the information they're giving you. Sometimes it needs to be said in a different way for you to understand, and that is okay. Sometimes you want to know something they have not explained. Make sure you ask. Don't be afraid to ask questions, and don't be afraid to speak up if you don't understand, or if you're having any symptoms or side effects. It is important to advocate for yourself.